Hi, it's Janae Tires with the Create with Cricut class. Um, we made this adorable uh, Starbucks cold cup yesterday. Um, we meet at the um, Eastvale um, Community Center Wednesdays, 6 p.m. to 7.30. And we did this cute vinyl decoration for the cold cup. And we, uh, there was a lot of layers to this and a lot of elements to this. And I just kind of wanted to create this video so um, my students could kind of go back and uh, really kind of dig into the details of this project in their own time. And maybe you might even enjoy kind of seeing what we do in class. And this could be something that would be great for you to um, be inspired to really pull out your Cricut and try some fun projects like this or even join a class. Um, so I just want to kind of go over the creative, uh, part of it and the cam, um, and Cricut's design space. Okay. So Cricut's design space is the free app that you create your design in, and then you use the Cricut machine to cut it out. <clears throat> this was all done with adhesive vinyl. Um, and we use a permanent vinyl for the cold cup. So I just kind of want to show how to set up that artwork, okay? Uh, so let me see if I can kind of elevate that a little bit. Elevate it. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, anyway, um, my light is kind of reflecting there. But so basically all I did do here was open up Cricut Design Space and I'm going to create a new project, okay? And these are some of the steps we went over in the class. We, I use a laptop, a Mac laptop in class, and I think this is kind of cool because I can also show how to do the same steps on a laptop. You can also do on a tablet. This is an iPad Air, and you just download the app to the iPad, and you can uh, connect to the Cricut with Bluetooth, okay? So, in your app on in your app for uh, Cricut Design Space, when we want to upload an image, we're going to click here. OK, um, so what I need to do first, though, is I'm going to go to um, my Google Drive. Let's see if I can get to my drive from here. And I'm going to download the files that was a part of our class. Okay, so this I found on Creative Fabrica. It's a really cute peeps design for the uh, cold cup, the Starbucks 24 ounce cold cup wrap. So what I'm gonna do is save this to my, I need to download this. Okay, so let me see, how do I download this? I want to, oh, let's go into files. I'm gonna navigate to the folder, okay? And then, so I want to save this to my computer. Let's see. Share, make it a little offline, make a copy, make it available offline. Okay, no. Okay, maybe I just hold it. How do I save this? How do I download this file to my computer? Open in. Oh, okay. So open in. It brings up the save to files option for me. And then on my iPad, I can put it, I can put it in my downloads on my iPad and I can create a folder. We'll just call it peeps. Peeps. Here we are. Save that. And then I can save this part two image in that folder and we'll go back and do the same thing. So it was open in here. So we'll open in and that allows me to choose save to files. And then I went to that downloads folder and then um, I'm going to uh, 
let's see, I'm gonna go back to downloads. I'm gonna go to my peeps folder that I just created so everything's in the same space. And then I'm gonna hit save. Sorry about that. So I don't use the iPad very often, so I had to work out how to um, save the file from my Google Drive to my iPad. Now that it's on my iPad, I can go back into Cricut and we can upload. So right here on the left-hand side, you've got all these options. We can add photos or images that are already a part of Creative that are already a part of Cricut Design Spaces library. The phrases, that's part of the library. <clears throat> Edible images, and we're gonna add text in a minute. You can also add shapes, and you can also upload. So on this left side, you have all of the things that you can add to the canvas. On this uh, middle side, not all the way to the right, but on the middle, these are all the actions that you can do to those things that you add to the, camp uh, to the canvas. So, we're just going to upload from my files and we're going to grab, let's go ahead and grab peep Starbucks logo part one. Okay. And we can name this, um, peeps, uh, frame. We'll just call it the frame. Okay. Done. Okay. So that adds it to the canvas and then what I want to do is I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so you can see what is going on. I want to add my own little message here. So I'm going to show you how we did that. So that obviously is text. Uh, so we're going to add, remember whenever we want to add something to the canvas, we're going to look over here, add text. And I put Easter peep. So we'll, we'll just type in E. And I think I can double tap to uh, keep it in cap lock. Easter peeps. Cute. Okay, so save that. And then I'm going to change the font. So you add things here. Then once you add something and it's selected, you get a second row of options. Okay. And this changes depending on what you have selected down here. So since we have text selected, you have text options. Let's go ahead and change the font. The font you can find all the way to the left hand side okay and i'm going to uh, use a font called trade gothic okay so i'm just typing in trade and it pops up right here so i'm going to use this trade gothic display and see how it changed right there i like that because it looks really similar to that kind of starbucks type of font Okay, so we go ahead and do that, hit done. And if I'm going super fast with this video, I hope that you will pause, you know, follow along, come back, rewind, pause, so that you can really get a feel for getting through one of these projects, um, uh, firsthand experience with that. Clearly this is too big to fit in our uh, little frame. So I'm gonna go down so we can edit the size here. So right next to, we've got font, We've got the style, okay, so in here it's just regular, but sometimes there's italic and bold. And then we're gonna go down in the size, okay? I'm just gonna go down. What I wanna do is pretty much have it fit top to bottom to fit with a little bit of space. I want a little bit of space above it here, and a little bit of space below it there. So I'm just gonna keep tapping down till it looks like I've got, got that covered. So see how that, fits perfectly right there, okay? So now that it looks like the height will fit within the space of the frame, we wanna add that curve, okay? So we, we have the font, we have the size. You've got letter spacing, we'll come back to that. Alignment, now we wanna affect the curve. So I'm gonna click curve, click curve, and you get these options. So see how you can go in a curve that goes up this way, and you can go in a curve that goes down. So if I move it, you see that it changes, okay? Well, we needed it to go up this way. So we're gonna kinda um, just get a loose feel for what that looks like, and that looks really cute. That's almost there, but not quite right, right? I need to also then change the letter spacing. Look at the, how much letter space we have here. Well, what we're trying to get is a closer space between those letters, look at that. So let's go ahead 
and go into the letter space. And um, we're just gonna bring that down a little bit and then go back to the curve. Okay, so that's getting better, but we need to keep going. So let's go back to the letter space and let's go back to the curve. Almost there, back to the letter space. And I know it looks crazy right here, but we know what we're trying to get to. Almost there, almost there. Oh, that's, that's pretty good, let's see. So see how I'm looking at the space at the top and the bottom, but also look here, we want that to fit too. So let's go ahead and apply that curve again. No, let's go back, let's make it a little closer, a little closer, we're almost there. I'm just going back and forth between um, the uh, curve, hold on, the, uh, go back into edit. Okay, so what happens, I got out of edit. So if you get out of edit, click back on it again, go back into edit the text, that's what we're doing, edit, edit, and then go back into your curve. Let's see what we're looking at, ooh. And we just wanna get it to where we're almost perfectly happy with that. That's getting really, really close. Let's see if I, if I just, just scale this up a little bit. Will that fit? So close. I'm gonna leave it here, because this is almost perfect, and we can fine tune it at this point. So let's go ahead and hit done. And we're almost, almost there, but look, it's a little tight there, it's a little close to the edge there. So let's go ahead what we wanna do is individually control these letters. So we're gonna go into, um, we're gonna go into actions, I believe. Um, no, we wanna go into edit. And there should be, okay. There's extra options if you slide to the side. I knew I was looking for it and I was like, where'd they go? So we are, Selected on the text, we're under edit. Let's we'll slide to the side and look. Um, where's it at? Curve, it should be an advanced option. Let me see if I select everything. Let's see, I'm trying to bring up the option for the advanced options. I know they're here somewhere, so I'll select that. Here they are, my bad. Okay, so <laughs> still getting used to this iPad interface. Okay, let's go back. So if we select the text, right? Remember we were under edit, we were here. Remember we could, we could change the font, we could change the size of that font, we could change the curve. Now we want to go to actions because we want to do something to this text that we added. So under advanced, right here, it's at the end, we're gonna click that and look at this option here. It says ungroup to letters. So let's go ahead and click that. Now, we should have in the layers panel, look, all of the letters are separate. Be, and I'll go back and I'll show you. So before, Easter Peeps was all on one line. And then if I redo ungroup to letters, you'll see it put all of them on separate layers. So I'm gonna tap layers to get rid of that panel. And I want to fine tune the placement. So I'm just two fingers scaling to get a little closer so I can see what I'm doing. And you select the letter and you can move, let's see, move it to where it's right in the middle. Oh, I like that. So then let's look at this P. P is pretty good. Okay. And I'm just looking at the placement. S looks okay. Everything else looks good. This is a little close right here. So I'm going to give it a little space. So I'm just gonna, well, sometimes it's easier to work with your finger instead of the pencil. Oops, 
I look, I, I move two things. So whenever something weird happens, just undo. All I want is to eat. Just give me that eat by itself. There we go. Now I can move it. And I want to get a little, just a little bit of space in between those corners. Space, space. I like it. Okay. And then this E is a little far away. I mean, this A, I mean, it's a little far. And look, it's hanging out the side here. So just select that. And then move that down a little bit. And this E, way over the line there. Okay. See that? Way outside. So select the E. And this is, it might be different for you for however, whatever font you pick and whatever size you end up with. But for me, these are the kind of tweaks I want to do to it. Oh, hold on. So let's go ahead and fix this one. And you can also rotate them. So I should be able to, oops. Go back under. I wonder, how do I want to rotate? Can this like rotate? There we go. Okay, so grab that little um, handle at the bottom of the letter. You can change your rotation. I'm gonna move this a little bit more. Did I did I like move? Cause I fixed all this before. Oh, it looks like something changed. Let me just go back so I can see what I did. Yeah, there we go. That moved. So if I went back far enough, I can see where my changes are. Okay, Easter peeps. Okay, so this, and I'm just kind of fine-tuning this. You can grab the bottom handle to change your rotation. Okay, I feel like Easter Peeps needs a little bit more space in between it. So I'm just going to bring it over a little bit more and down a little bit. kind of trying to snap. I'm going to rotate it a little bit and I'm going to bring this R over a little and rotate that so we just get a little bit more separation. That S needs to go up there. So this is the kind of like little fine tuning you can do. I know it's like super, you know, detailed, but I'm a super detailed person. This E, want to, want to get it down. Sometimes it's not as responsive to the pencil. All right, so E A S T. See this, this T. Not exactly where I want it to be. Move that over. I'm really snapping a lot there. Um, sometimes if it's snapping too much and you can't get it exactly where you want it, zoom in a little bit. And sometimes you get a little bit better control on it. That's my little trick. I'm going to rotate that a little bit. All right, so give it a good look. This R is kind of close to the, to the edge more than I want it to be. Okay. That is not. Okay. All right. We played with it enough. Okay. I could be here forever. Anyways, that looks pretty good. So now we have Easter peeps on our um, decal. And let's see. So at this point, let's look at our layers. Going back to layers. So when you tap on layers to hide it and show it. Okay. So bring it back. And we're going to select all the letters that make up Easter peeps, okay? Doo, doo, doo. Select them all, deselect the frame, don't need that. So you can tell they have little boxes around them, you can tell everything's selected. And you can see them all in the layer here. I want to I want to um, weld them together. I want them all to be one piece. So I'm going to go into actions and I want to combine, okay? We're going to combine the letters and weld them. Okay. 
Done. Save it. So now you can see all of the letters on one layer. Okay. I'm going to go to the frame and to select and deselect the layers, just tap them, tap them. Okay. So I'm deselecting weld, selecting the frame and see there can, the ears and the frame are connected into a group. I want to ungroup that. Okay. So over here, you see the options for these layers or over here on the left, we're going to ungroup it. Now we have the uh, frame, the frame, the words, and the ears all on separate layers. I just want to select the words in the frame. Once those two layers are selected, we're going to do another action. We're going to combine them and we're going to subtract Easter peeps out of the orange frame. Okay, so, so you can see how it shows it that it did it right there. So now we have, instead of letters on top of the frame, we have Easter peeps cut out of that orange frame. Okay. Now, whatever layer is on top will cut out of the layer that's on the bottom. Okay. So just keep that in mind when you're working with elements that you want to cut out of other elements or subtract out of other elements. So this is pretty much perfect at this point. This is where I want it to be. I want to save this. So I'm just going to call it um, peeps. Hold on. I'm going to call this, oops, what did I just call it? Let's save it. Save is at the top right corner. Call it, here we go, peeps cup, okay? Or cup uh, uh, frame. I'm just call it peeps cup frame. Let's just call it peeps cup because we're going to come back and do something in a second. Peeps cup is great. We're going to save it. I will save stuff to the cloud so I can access it from my laptop and my um, tablet. So Peeps Cup is saved. Now we would move forward to making it. Um, so for my students, I, I sent you home with some extra pieces of vinyl. So I think you can actually do this again for extra practice um, with the pieces that I sent you home with. So let's do it here. Let's take these two. This is the light pink for the ears. And this is like an orange color for the frame. Let's go ahead and do this one. So we're going to make it. And as you can see, Cricut is telling us the first layer that it wants us to cut is the orange. Okay. So I have it on a 12 by 12 mat. We do not need a mirror because this is just regular adhesive vinyl. If you want to make multiple copies of this cup, you could do that here and change that number. And then you can see our second mat will be this um, beautiful like uh, blush color for the ears. Uh, I also gave you some white, so if, if, it, if you have white, you could use white with that. Uh, I think that'd be really cute. And the frame, the mat is the same, the 12 by 12. We do not need a mirror. So we're all good there. Let's go ahead and start on uh, mat one. So let's hit next at this point. And you have to uh, choose your um, Cricut. I do not have it uh, probably connected at this point. So I'm gonna go into my settings on the tablet. So I'm just going back to the home screen. And in my settings, I look on the left-hand side, you can see Bluetooth right there. So I just tap Bluetooth. And then I'm gonna connect to my Cricut. And my Cricut is called Cricut Air 2, uh, D811. I know that that one's mine, so it's saying not connected. So let's go ahead and connect that. So go ahead and navigate to your Cricut and make sure that your tablet is connected to your Cricut through Bluetooth. You can do this before you even start with designing. So let's go back to Cricut, the Cricut app, and try to make it again. Now that it's connected through Bluetooth, we should be able to get to the next stage of this project. And like I said, if I'm going really fast, please use the pause, go back, rewind, watch parts of this over again, and, you know, really practice getting familiar with the tools in Cricut uh, Design Space so that you know how to navigate um, the software to be able to, you know, really get creative with your projects. So this is taking forever. So I think, okay, if you run into this issue where it does this loading thing forever, it may not ever get out of this mode. So I'm just going to go ahead and kill design space. So I just 
we're gonna we we just went back to the can um to the home screen picked it slid it up to the top to the top to kill it we're gonna go back into it sometimes if you connect bluetooth after you've already clicked make it it won't it'll just do that little spinning thing forever to get it out of that we're just going to go back into our projects and um go back to the peeps cup that we just named that's why it's important to always save your projects before you make it so that if it does anything weird like that you're able to get back into it let's open it back up again click um customize so you can see let's just go ahead and um Keep previous that's fine and zoom in so you can see everything looks nice let's go ahead and make it again this kind of refreshes it now that it knows it's connected to the bluetooth so that's a way to to kind of fix that if you run into that again um so let's go ahead and click next and it should find my um cricket faster now that it's connected so let's see if it gets there Hopefully, because it is connected at this point. Okay, it's being weird. Hmm. Well, all right, let's kill it one more time. So I'm gonna kill it again and try something else. So all I'm doing is going back to the home screen sliding up from the bottom slide it up to the top i'm gonna try one more thing so i'm going into my settings making sure that i'm connected it is connected cricket air 811 is connected i wonder if i need to go back into my software and reconnect it because i was using a different machine and i'm wondering if uh, i need to repair it okay so machine setup so notice where I went. I went to the three lines at the top that pulls up your profile and all the different um, options for your profile and your account and your Cricut. So we're gonna go into machine selection. Yeah, select it on the Explorer, right? That's good. Okay, and then machine setup. We're on the Cricut Explorer family. Mm -hmm. From settings pair via Bluetooth, enter it says connection error disconnected connect it's on i'm looking at it it is powered on okay let's try this again um sorry guys i am connected i wonder if i'm just gonna power it off gonna power it off power it back on See, when I powered it off, it disconnected. So let's see if we can refresh that connection. So let's reconnect it. Cricut is connected. Let's go back to Cricut. Let's say connect. Okay. Oh, look. See, so I powered it off, powered it on, and connected it. And we can skip the test code because I, I trust it. Skip that stuff. Okay. So let's go back to our project. Okay, and then we're going to go into the peeps cup. So if we had to pause to get around all this connection and you're already connected, skip all that stuff I just did. But if you ever do dis get disconnected, that's the way you can kind of fix it. So let's go ahead and customize again. Um, let's go ahead and keep previous. We're going to zoom in. It looks nice. Let's make it. Uh, mats look good. We got two different mats. It's perfect. Let's go ahead and hit next. And now we should be able to get to the next part of cutting. Yay! Look, it worked! <laughs> okay, so sometimes we have issues in connection. It is Bluetooth, so it is different. When you use your laptop or your computer, you are directly connected with the USB, so you, you have less of those connection errors. But if you do have connection errors, that's uh, a way to kind of troubleshoot it and, and get around it. Okay, so we have my material set to vinyl. Um, I have plus for a little bit more pressure. That's set on my dial on the Cricut. 
and everything else looks good. So let me show you what's happening. I'll bring you over to, um, well, first let's go ahead and load our material. So we're gonna use this orange color. And I was color code my images so I can follow along and make sure I'm loading the correct material on the mat. So here is my Cricut mat and it is nice and sticky. I'm gonna put my um, H, my, no, HD, my vinyl on the mat in the top left hand corner. I use this little brayer tool to get it nice and adhered to the mat. And that looks good, it's in the right place. Let's come over, I'm gonna have you come over here. So, one second. Okay, so I just want you to see what we're about to do. So at this point here, let me move this over. Have patience, okay. So my, let's see, little blinky button is blinking. My uh, setting is set to vinyl, vinyl plus for more pressure. And that means it's ready to roll. I've got my fine tube, fine, point blade loaded right there. We don't need any other tools. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount my mat. So we're mounting it. I'm just pushing the little blinky button and the blinky button mounts it. Now it's in there, it's not going anywhere, see? And we're ready to hit, and I'll show you. The blinky button, let's see if I can see that. The blinky button for the arrow stopped blinking because I go. I went ahead and pushed it and mounted it. Now the cricket button is blinking. That means hit that and it's ready to cut. Okay, so let's bring this back over here so you can watch it cut. So let's go ahead and cut. Okay. It's done. So now we just hit that blinking button again. I'll show you that it's blinking. That means it's done. So I'm just going to go ahead and unmount that. Boop. And we are all cut. So I don't know if you can see that, but can you see the lines? We can tell that it's cut nice and good. I always check to see if it's cut before unmounting it, because if it's not cut, you can put it back in there and try to cut it again, okay? Um, so at this point, let's go back over to our workspace. All right. So we are going to turn this over. This is my trick always. Turn the mat over to uh, remove the cut vinyl and peel your mat back from the vinyl, okay? That keeps it from uh, puckering and um, getting little bubbles and and having it lift off the backer, okay? 
So that's beautiful. The next part, Cricket's telling us, okay, that's complete. So we say, okay. And then now it's telling me, load your pink vinyl. Okay, so I love how it just walks you through the process. So I'm going to load that at the top left corner. And spray that down with a little grayer. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna pop that back into the Cricut. So I'll have you watch that. This should take like literally five seconds. Thank you for being patient and watching this whole process. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and hit the blinking cricket button to cut. Okay, so I'm going to hit the blue green cricket button to unmount it, and we're going to go back over to our little workspace. Okay. Okay. So, like we did before, I'm going to check that. That looks like it's cut through pretty good before we unmount it. Okay. And then we're going to turn it upside down, hold it down while you pull it back and peel back the mat and remove your cut vinyl. Okay, at this point, we are ready to weed the vinyl, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so I'm gonna zoom in on that. Oh, that yeah, looks pretty good. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead I'm gonna use these tweezers. So I like to take my tweezer, dig into that corner with the pointy point. Cause usually the, the corner doesn't have any artwork and that helps you lift it up off the backer, okay? And then we're just gonna slowly peel this back. So this did not cut all the way through. But when you're peeling it back, peel it back at a nice sharp ang angle so you get it to release uh, the edges kind of more safely <laughs> instead of going fast. So we've got, let's see where I'm trying to pay attention to what I'm doing. All right, so that's doing pretty good. This is kind of thick vinyl, so it didn't really cut all the way through. So if you, you're noticing that it didn't cut all the way through, just kind of like hold it as you're pulling it back. And this didn't cut very good through any of these parts. That's all right. That's all right, it cut, it just didn't cut cleaner. So just knowing that this didn't cut as clean as I would like it to cut, if I were to do it again, I would set it to probably iron on. That's the next heaviest setting. Just to make sure you get a clean cut through there. But it's going good now that we got it started. Okay, so just keep going. Go, go, go. Beautiful. All right, so set that to the side. Um, I'm gonna get my vinyl collector tool this is my little vinyl um kind of like a little scrap collector uh, it's just from the dollar store dollar tree um it's actually for manicures uh, to hold like the <laughs> nail polish but it works perfect for collecting vinyl so we used it for that so then we'll just take out the inside of all the letters Okay, and I'm just getting a little piece, holding down the outside so that, ah, see, I need to keep this inside. So this should have cut out way easier. 
I will have to remember that next time to to uh, put a heavier um, cut with this orangish color. Um, that's all right. We will keep going. It's working. It's been a little tricky. Okay. So, letter by letter. So this is like a reverse. Um, so we're we're keeping the outside of the letters and actually weeding out the letter itself. So that's kind of a different kind of a design um, technique there for typography. But it's pretty fun. So you have that reverse um, shape. So this has the inside of an R. So since I, I can see that, I'm going to just be mindful as I lift that up and hold that inside of the R down as I pull back the uh, letter. You really don't want to lose the insides of your letters because those um, inner shapes is what make them readable. You know, so we don't want to lose those. Here's another one. So I'm going to hold it down with the side of my tweezers and peel back the letter at a sharp angle and then hold it down the rest of the way as I pull it away. Okay. So we're going to go through that last E. Oops. Boop. Another E. Okay. B. Oops. See, I got excited. Hold down the inside, peel back the letter, just push that back in that shape a little bit. Bam. We're good. We're good. We're good. Keep moving. Keep moving. So don't be scared. Don't be discouraged. If it doesn't come out perfect and easy, just stick to it. We'll learn from it. You'll find better methods. And, um, you know, if you're doing multiples of them, you'll find your second, your third one will be easier and easier. So we're going to do the same thing with the um, bunny ears. I'm just going to pick a corner, this bottom corner here, get it underneath that so I can lift it away from the backing. Okay, and pull that back. I pull it back at a sharp angle so that we can make sure that the ears stay down. Don't lift up with the weeding. So see, that was a lot easier because... It cut all the way through. So now what we want to do is we want to use our transfer tape uh, and, and put them together um, on the cup. So um, if we're to do that, we would do that at this point. But I want to go because I want to show you how we did this cup. Okay. But for my friends who have already kind of started and they, if they wanted to go ahead and try it again with the pieces that I gave them and during class, you can go ahead and take these pieces and put them on your cup again. But let me show you um, the original process here. So um, our first one we cut was the black. So, but let me, let me, I'm getting ahead of myself. After we finished designing, this was in class, in class, after we finished designing, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go back to, um, I'm going to use cancel down here to go back to the canvas. Um, and, oh, here's our error. We're going to go back to the canvas. So when we finished designing this part, we brought in our second piece. Okay, so we uploaded from the library. Remember how we downloaded two files from my, um, my Google Drive? And we'll grab the wrap portion, okay? And we're just going to call it like Peeps Wrap or something. Peeps Wrap. Okay, perfect. Done. It's going to bring it into the canvas. Okay. So, what we needed to do with this is we need to um, combine it, the orange, with the hearts so they cut out on one sheet of paper, okay? That was one of the things we had to get done in class. That was one of the lessons we learned on how to work with the elements that are already there, combine them so that they cut together. Let's look at our layers. Looking at our layers, 
we see that all of the bunnies are attached under this file called peeps wrap. Let's go ahead and un, they're attached, but they're attached by grouping. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and ungroup those. You can tell this is the group, ungroup them. Now you can see that group uh, drop down, disappear, and all the layers on different layers. There's this curved rectangular, sh rectangular shape. That just shows us where the design goes. It's a guide, we don't need it. Let's go ahead and deselect everything else. Deselect all the other layers by just tapping them. And let's go ahead and delete that. We don't need that layer, delete it. It's gone. Okay, next what we want to do is there's the orange hearts. So to select it, just select the hearts. And you can see the, the layer line uh, um, get highlighted here. We also want to select the frame, the Easter Peeps frame. So I'm gonna select that. So you can see those two things are selected and we want to attach them. So here, this little icon here is attached, click that. So now when you turn the eyeball off, you can see all the orange elements disappear because we selected them and attached them. That means they're gonna to cut together on one sheet of vinyl and be the right size, okay? So keep that like that. Everything else should be perfect. We're gonna save it, because if we get to the next screen and it dies like we did before, we can be able to get back to it. Um, this is what we want. So we're gonna make it, in order to get this whole wrap, we had to add in the, the rest of the elements into this project. So let's go ahead and make it at this point. The first, this is what I was talking about. The first layer it wants us to cut on is black. Okay, so I cut a sheet that was long enough. It was, it was about five inches, you know, by 12 inches. That's long enough to encompass all of the little eye dots. Okay, so that was already cut out. And then you'll notice on the next map, it wants you to cut the orange. So the orange is already laid out. Okay. So the orange, I cut that at about seven by 12. Um, so that would be this one. So you can see that I went through each mat and we I've already cut this so we can just kind of put it together. But you would do the same, you load in your yellow, you learn, load in your green, you load in your pur your blue, purple. It's got a lot of layers, the pink, the, the ears, okay? And then you would just go through the steps of cutting like we did already for, for these, okay? We just go step by step through each layer. So those are already cut. I'm going to skip over to um, the actual vinyl. For this one, I don't know if you can see these little baby eyes, but the little eyes are like, there's like, I think there's one right here. I don't know if you can see it. See, the, yeah, there they are, the little eyes. Push them down. Make sure they're on there, but set it to the side because we'll come back to this at the end, okay? I'm going to start with the orange. I'm going to weed this orange. I'm going to do like we did um, in the corner. And I'm going to pull it back. And we're going to weed out the background that we don't need. Revealing the hearts. See, this cut all the way through, so this is a lot easier. I don't know why the other one didn't cut all the way through. But if you notice, this is going a lot simpler. So just pull that back, being careful not to get rid of anything that you need. We're keeping our hearts. Okay, beautiful. All right, so we're done with that. Set that to the side. Now we want to do the letters on the inside. Okay, so we're just going to get the letters on the inside. Okay, so this is going a lot easier. So look how much easier it is to weed if it's cut all the way through. Even my insides of the letters are staying down. That is wonderful. You know, so each color cuts differently. Uh, each brand of vinyl cuts differently. You just kind of have to um, play with your settings. 
Uh, you can even do a test cut um, with a simple shape just to see if you got your pressure right on a small scrap piece of vinyl. And then if it look if it cuts through perfectly, go ahead with the rest of your, your project. Okay. So um, the orange is done. I had to do my orange in two pieces. Where's the other piece of orange? I had to do my orange in two pieces because I ran out of the bigger sheet, but that's okay. Um, we will. Use these little strips so the rest of my orange is on here but when you guys uh, do it just make sure you measure it out big enough to cover your whole project that whole orange mat but mine I ran out of orange so I'm just gonna cut it on a separate piece okay so when you hold it together look no one ever knows <laughs> all right so orange is done we're gonna set aside each layer and we're gonna come back to it. Let's do yellow. It's gonna go one by one. It is cut this way. So here's our yellow. You know, I like to keep my um, extra vinyl. So I'm just cut that down. So it's, this is why I'm trimming it, is because I just wanna keep the extras. Because if I wanna do a little small project and all I need is a little piece. Then I still have some scraps to play with. All right, so we're just gonna pull that back at a sharp angle, like I told you. Sharp angle. Doo, 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 doo. Yellow bunny. Done. Okay. Next color. Blue. Okay. Do we have any extra that we can keep? We do. Save it. Making sure. Making sure. So I can see where it's cut, and I'm just gonna keep me some scraps. And then, let's go ahead and uh, we'll use this one. Do that little trick, like I told you, get underneath that vinyl, lift it. And out of repetition, you'll get a, ha a hang of weeding. Let's see, this one didn't cut all the way through. See, each color is completely different. Like the, I, you know, I kind of believe the formula for the, the uh, tinting of the vinyl affects the, um, where's the other one at? Affects the, the way that it, it cuts through. So really you kind of need to test every color, you know? Oh, there we go, there's another one. Um, but so far so good. So there's my blue one. Then there's a purple one. So this is how you do like multiple colored vinyl projects, okay? You just get everything all cut out, all weeded out, okay? And this has got tails here. So we're gonna take the tails out. Another tail, bunny tails. This is so cute, you guys. I'm just, I just, this makes me happy. Weeding is actually really, really re rewarding to me. So this process is called weeding. We are weeding. I could probably save the rest of this. A little, a little strip of green. I like to save my vinyl because vinyl is not cheap. Okay. And then we're gonna pull back this. We're gonna go nice sharp angle to your, oh, see, he pulled back. This is why I go kind of slow, keeping an eye on it, so you can catch it if it pulls back, okay? It's green. Come here. Pink, is there anything we can save on this one? Nah, he's kind of taking up the whole thing. All right, so we'll just go ahead and pull that back. This one is kind of easy to peel because it's already kind of lifted up for us. All right, so I'm just peeling back. Dee -dee -dee. A whole pile of vinyl over here. Okay, and then we're going to pick up our 
Whoa, that went somewhere. Oh, <laughs> stuck to my hand. All right. Okay. Da -da. And then here's a bunny tail over here. Man, that is just way too cute with those little tails. Okay, so we got um, pink. And then the last one was the ears. Okay, we're done. Done weeding. So don't be scared of weeding. Weeding doesn't always have, necessarily have to take forever, especially if it cuts clean. So if you, you have to kind of weigh it out. Like if it's driving you nuts weeding, just cut it again on a, on a heavier setting so that you're able to get through it and not waste your time, you know. Um, but if you feel like it's worth, you know, kind of, you know, messing with it like I did with this one, if it's worth it, then go ahead and stick with it. But otherwise, you know, you saw how easy this one was. Just cut it again and move forward, you know. Just kind of have to decide what's, what's good for you. So we're done with these tools for now. Should be done with the scissors. Okay. So we're going to start with the orange because the orange is like, it goes from all the way from both sides, from all the way over here around the back to the, to the right. So it's like the biggest sheet. So that will give us like a guide to where the other bunnies should fit within the design so i'm gonna start there okay so i'm gonna show you how to use transfer tape so it's just a clear sticky film you can find this at all the craft stores and on amazon it's transfer tape and these little sheets are parchment paper and the vinyl does not stick to this, okay? So this is gonna help us place the artwork on the cup without committing to sticking to the cup quite yet, okay? So I'm gonna check for one thing. Let me see if I can find. We're gonna try Where's my cup at? Uh, oh, here it is. <laughs> Come look at my cup. Find my cup. All right. So here's the cup. And um, I'm going to use these little microfiber towels to kind of create like a little pillow for it so that it doesn't slide around. Um, we don't, let's get this out of the way. We're going to use, at this point, we're going to use our scraper. We're going to use the transfer tape. We're going to use the parchment paper and you know what we might use a little tape i might use a little tape here to show you an extra trick i didn't get to show you in class um but you know this you don't have to do it but it, it kind of helps sometimes all right so we want to take our blank cup and another little pro tip is to wipe your blank cup down with alcohol Okay, so I'm just taking this little alcohol pad. It's gonna remove any um, little dust residue, uh, you know, oils, fingerprints. So we get a nice adhesion to the cup. These frosty cups, you know, the vinyl, after about 24 hours, will stick on it pretty good. And it'll survive, you know, some nice light hand washing. If you put in a dishwasher, it's not going to survive very long. Okay. I wouldn't recommend trying to seal these cups because it just wouldn't look right. Um, and if, you know, pieces do kind of peel up and off, it's kind of just the nature of this product. But it's really, really cute. Um, way to personalize some little gifts. And, like, you can load these cups up with some cute little candies or little Easter treats or you know, whatever, and um, personalize other people's names. It, it could just be really, really fun, okay? But um, just handle it really with care when you're washing it so you can get the longest life out of it as possible. So this is drying, so that's fine. What we're going to do is we're going to get the artwork attached to the um, first layer. So I'm going to take... I'm gonna take this here. This would normally cut out as one sheet. 
mine is separate because I had to use two different pieces for my scraps. So, oh, one thing I do is I put down like a little work, one work piece of parchment paper that's about the same size as the wrap. Okay. And then your actual first, or not first, but the orange cut out um, for the first layer we're gonna work with. And look at this, I got a piece of purple <laughs> cotton tail stuck to my finger. Okay, we're gonna rem remove your, or just get your, cut a piece of uh, transfer tape that's about the same size, and probably a little bit larger than your, um, then your vinyl cut piece. And I like to put mine together like a little taco, look, a little taco shape. So we'll do that. And then we'll lay it down over everything. It's beautiful. Then we're gonna use our little brayer tool. Not brayer, scraper. We're going to burnish this onto the transfer tape with our scraper. And then we're gonna use gravity. We're gonna flip it over, just the, the vinyl. We're gonna flip it over and peel the backer off, slowly, off of the uh, transfer sheet. Using that those sharp angles and then you know making sure your stuff is laid down. Pull it back at a sharp angle. Normally yours will all be on one piece, but mine just happens to be in separate pieces. Okay. So now we have our first layer, okay? So we're gonna take, uh, we're gonna create our little pillow for our cup. We just curve the sides in underneath like that, like a little, uh, w <laughs> and then just put it down and so just keep the, the cup from rolling around everywhere while you're working with it and then we have our sticker vinyl here we're gonna leave that there we're gonna take of your stuff and mess up everything <laughs> got too excited and now my heart's just sticking to stuff back on there okay all right so we're good there okay so we're taking our transfer paper and has folded it not transfer paper we're taking our parchment paper it's folded in half and I'm just gonna put it kind of like in the middle of the design. So if you can see here, here's the whole design, putting it like in the middle. Okay. And now I'm going to rest the artwork with the protected side against the cup so I can position it, okay? So I want to position it, and you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see through the parchment paper to the edge of that. See how the edge of the Starbucks logo? I'm just putting it right up against there. I'm just making sure you like that position, okay, before you commit to it. Make sure it's in the middle. I think... Move around, I'm a perfectionist, so I kind of like things to be super, super perfect. And then that. Okay, so I'm just trying to make sure that the edge is perfect. And that looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just a nervous Nancy. But I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and commit. So once you like it, Pull it back a little bit. Once we like it, working with that. Then, sorry, sorry guys. I am ridiculously perfectionist. All right, but I wanna get that on there good. I'm just like to look at it at different angles. You know, if you look at it from this way, look at it from that way, you can really get a feel for it. All right, so if you like it, go ahead and start smoothing it down right in the middle, okay? And then let it fall, smoothing it as you go along. Smoothing it, smoothing it. As you go along. All right. So see, we got one side down. Then use your scraper. Really get it to stick. Scraper. Really get it to stick. And on this side, take your time. Lift it up a little bit. Make sure you don't get any bubbles. And just slowly pull back that um, parchment paper. Okay. Slowly pull it back. Slowly pull it back there. Hearts down. Okay. And we're going to meet in the middle here. I'm pulling this back. And our hearts are going to go down. Beautiful. And we got another heart right there. Okay, so scrape that down. Scraper. So the scraping just helps it, you know, stick more to the I got a little bubble right there. Scraping just helps it stick to the cup. It's burnishing. We're burnishing to the cup. Because we don't want it to lift off. Especially these little, we get to make sure those little inside of the letters are in there good. Okay. Scrape it nice and good. All the pieces. Then we can work it work it off. Okay. Now, oops, see, I got a look at it. Peel back and then kind of tore it. Okay, so make sure you're holding it down. Hold the edge of the colored vinyl down as you pull it back and make sure you pull this back at a tight angle. So see how that hold it down as you pull it back okay moving on this one's lifting up okay bring it back grab the edge of it kind of use your nail pull it away and peel it back slowly slowly is the magic word here moving on next heart let's see if it lifts up it does grab the edge Get use your nail, pull it away, hold that edge as you slowly pull it back at a sharp angle. Look at this, this is lifting. What I like to do is I like to start at a corner. So we're gonna come peel this back a little bit and see how the heart, keep an eye on all the other elements, hold it as you peel, hold the other side of the heart as you peel so it doesn't tear. 
See this corner? Hold it as we peel it back, getting the rest of that to smooth down. Here's another corner. Find it, hold it. Make sure this heart's not lifting. Make sure this corner doesn't lift right here. Hold that back, hold it, pulling it back. Hold the edges here. There is very thin, so it's not a lot of um, surface area to adhere to the cup. So hold it as you pull it back. Keep an eye on everything else as you're pulling. The A lifted, the inside of that A lifted. Keep an eye on those, the insides of those letters. Use your finger now. Get it to come away from the carrier. Hold it as you pull it back, okay? Hold it as you pull it back. Beautiful. Keep going, okay? Keep going. Put that on there. And we're looking at everything, making sure nothing is lifting. Making, okay, so see how we have, this is lifting up. Make sure you get the corner. Hold it as you peel. Push down the rest of it. The R, make sure that inside the R stays down, okay? Coming up on a heart, make sure that heart doesn't lift up. I'm just rolling back the rest of the vinyl onto itself. The transfer vinyl. Here's another corner, holding it. Holding it as I peel it. Now some transfer tapes aren't as sticky as mine. Um, this one just seems to be really sticky. There are some less sticky ones, so probably for this project, less sticky uh, would be good. Okay. And holding your vinyl as you pull, that way it doesn't lift up. And then we have another heart. Okay. And here's another heart. Looks like we got a couple more hearts and we'll be done with this layer, okay? Heart. And we'll get too excited at the end. <laughs> okay, heart. Now, it's on. <laughs> yes. So at this point, you can use your little scraper, especially if you have this little nice little liner on it. So just go ahead and make sure everything's stuck down. And then go nowhere. All right, little hearts. Make sure they're on there. Beautiful. So that was like our biggest layer. It had the most detail on it, okay? So our next one will be will have to be placed in the uh, correct area, okay? Well, you know what? What we can do, let's go ahead and put our ears on. Let's do our ears. Let's do the white bunny ears. I have white bunny ears somewhere. White bunny ears. Oh, here we go. Let's do our ears. Okay. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. So, we want to take our ears. Adorable. Put it on our work surface. We're gonna use the corner of the transfer tape. Let it fall down. Burnish it to get it to stick. Using gravity to pull the backing off. Putting our cup back in place on the towel. Using, put your uh, transfer paper kind of like in the middle of the artwork so you can place it where you want it or where it's supposed to go. You can kind of see where the ear is supposed to fit in on the side over there. It's got a little tight um, space and then I want it to, the bottom of it to line up with the top of the Starbucks logo. I think that's perfect right there. So go ahead and commit on the side that is not 
uh, lined with the vinyl. Okay. And then pull that out. Slowly lay that down. Okay. And you can just kind of burnish it a little bit where you want that to be. And then with a sharp angle, go ahead and be careful of your other letters, but peel that back off of the white. Oops, see how it wants to peel back? Remember, grab that corner, your nail, hold it down as you pull. And beautiful. Now at this point, go ahead and burnish that on. Okay. Go ahead and burnish it. Now remember I said you want to you want to wait 24 hours before you use this and wash this so that the the adhesive has time to cure to the plastic. Right now you could probably lift it off. After 24 hours, it's gonna adhere much more um, permanently to this cup. Okay, so then we got ears. Oh, it's so cute. A lot of us got to this point in the class. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Now let's go a little bit beyond and add all of the cute little peeps, okay? So I like to start bigger and a little smaller. So it looks like this purple one is a bigger one. Let's go ahead and get that onto the, to the cup. Okay, so we're going to move our cup and towel out the way. Work surface, lay the work surface down. Take your transfer uh, tape, taco method, let it lay down in the middle, smoothing out to the sides. I'm gonna burnish it down. So we're using the same transfer tape for all the layers, okay? Flipping it over. And I have this, this, uh, Parchment paper behind it so they don't stick to my glass. Okay, so parchment paper just is not sticky, so that, that creates our work surface. Peel this back away from the transfer tape. Put that off to the side. Bring our cup back to the center. And then at this point, you want to refer to the entire um, design so you know where it's supposed to go. So I'm gonna go back to the canvas so we can see the design. So the purple, see how the purple bunnies are right here underneath? See, right here underneath in this space. So that's kind of like gonna be my um, point of reference right here, purple bunnies, okay? So I'm gonna have this in front of me as I'm placing it. And then I'm going to take my bunnies. And we're going to take half of that. And I'm going to put it kind of like in the middle of that bunny right there. And I'm going to use kind of kind of favoring the side that's lined so we get the position right. Okay. And the position of that bunny. Looks like he would go right here. I mean, that looks pretty good right there. So I'm gonna lay him down. I'm gonna lay that first bunny down. So go ahead and commit to that bunny. Okay. And then letting it fall, kind of pulling it tautly. Commit the next bunny. Remove your liner underneath, kind of rolling it out, and commit to that last bunny. Okay, sorry, commit to that last bunny. Okay, let's burnish the bunnies on. A couple bunnies. How many times am I gonna say bunnies today, guys? How many times? It's all right. Spirit of spring and peeps. Talking bunny today. Talking bunnies. All right. So burnish them on. Pulling back slowly. 
going to remove the backing from the purple bunny. Being careful with our already positioned um, artwork. It should lay down pretty good, but it, just be careful when you're pulling it back and keep an eye on your new one. Okay. Beautiful. And carefully remove it from the rest of your artwork. Now look, that's trying to lift. It's trying to lift. We lay it down, we pull it back at the sharp angle, holding as we pull. Beautiful. And there's other bunnies already revealed. Okay, so it's perfect. Bunny, so then we want to go ahead and burnish them on. That they stick good when we lay, you know, because we're going to be doing a lot of layers, so we're going to make sure each layer is on there good before we move on to the next one. So that's the reason why we burnish in between each one. And even now, like the, the, the adhesive is curing now, like it's getting more permanent, even as we're working it with it. And after 24 hours, you are really not going to be able to get it off the cup. Okay. All right. We got purple. Next layer. So that was our biggest one. Longest one anyway. Let's do yellow. Okay. So I'm gonna look back. Got three yellow bunnies. But see this one right here? I'm gonna use this one as reference. Oops. Don't move the eyes. We're gonna use that one as reference for placement. Okay. So I'm looking at I'm gonna reference that as I'm working right now. We're gonna go ahead back to the work surface, back to our bunnies laying down there, taking our transfer sheet. Folding it in half like a taco, laying it down onto the transfer sheet, burnish the yellow bunnies on to the transfer sheet, flip it over, remove the backing from the transfer sheet with the yellow bunnies on it, and we're ready to bring our towel back. Now, you can have a nice big table all set up with plenty of space to do this, but I'm trying to do it all underneath the camera for you, so I'm moving things in and out of place, but that's okay. Um, so at this point, half sheet of parchment paper. Um, I'm going to, for this one, I think it'd kind of be good to kind of protect the other ones too. So I'm going to put it like halfway in between this bunny that I'm going to try to position at first, okay? I'm gonna put it about right here. Okay, hold on. You get it kind of more straight. Okay, so see, kind of like halfway in between that left bunny, because that's the one I'm gonna position. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay it on the cup. And that position is like right above the heart. You can see the heart here and the edge of the design there. And I'm looking at the reference. Um, and I'll show you. So, so here's the. I'll show you. I'm trying to show you as I go along. Um, okay, so here's the bunny. Here's the side. Here's the heart. Here's my bunny. And I'll show you the artwork again. See that yellow bunny right above that heart? I'm gonna try to get that positioned correctly. And it looks kind of like that, like it's close to the heart. It's in between the purple bunny. I feel like that's kind of kind of perfect right there. I'm sticking to this other side. All right. Move all around on me. Okay, that's all right. Um, I'm feeling like I like it right here. Okay. Okay, I like it. I think that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and commit to that one. 
All right, now if you get it on there and you're like, oh, I got it in the wrong place, you can just adjust one bunny at a time. This just kind of gets everything from that layer on there. Um, so that you can, they can fall into the right position from the template. Okay, so I'm just gonna, no, no way that was correct. Cause look at where this is about to go. This is about to go way off the cup. That's not right. Okay, let's try it again. Let's try it again. All right, so maybe, maybe we'll position it over here. Okay, so this is a bunny right here. He's right there. Maybe we'll do that one. All right, so if you find that you put it on, you're like, what? Like, how? Like, what? <laughs> like, I just did? Go ahead, take it off. It can still work. It's, it's, it's permanent vinyl, but it's still kind of like not permanent yet until after it clears. Try using another bunny as a reference. So this bunny over here might be easier for us to position it. Okay, so I'm going to go for the position of this bunny. We got a heart and we got a purple bunny that we can put it right in between. Let's go for that one for our placement. So we're just gonna use this line so we can move it around. Um, so it's about right here actually, it's like way up there. Okay. And it feels like it could be right there. Let's look at where this other one's gonna end up being at. Just for, yeah, see, like, like, see if I, that look like where it's supposed to be on the outside of that, above that heart. Yes. Yes. We can commit now. Let's commit. So, by to commit, we're just going to put that down, put that down, and then we're going to remove the uh, parchment paper from underneath. And we're gonna kind of just pull it tight all the way around till we get to the other side where this bunny goes. Like all, tight all the way around till you get to the other side where this bunny goes. Burnish that bunny down. Beautiful. Yeah, that placement is perfect. You guys will be placement masters by the time you get done with this project. Look, it's coming together. I'm so excited. Okay, don't get too excited. Move slow. No matter how excited your heart gets, because it's coming along so cute. Look, I would have ripped him if I didn't see that. So let's pull that down, holding while we pull it back. So notice it's not really pulling up the other ones because they've had a little teeny time to cure onto the plastic already. It's only kind of lifting on the newer ones. Okay, so just, but still carefully pull back away from your already placed artwork, just carefully. And then now this is a new one. So we're gonna pull back carefully on this yellow. Gorgeous. Okay, let's keep moving. Each of these are getting smaller. So we finished, let's do the pink ones. Pink bunny. So same thing. Workspace. You can hang with this now. Vinyl, okay. Transfer tape. Taco it down. Smooth it out over your vinyl. Burnishing. Okay, flip it up, flip it over. Reveal the backer. Nice. Bring back your cup. Okay, put our cup down. Look at our reference, the pink. So maybe, so we got like a, 
This is cool. We have a purple, we have a purple bunny, we have a yellow bunny, and an orange heart, and the frame. So we can put this pink bunny here. We know we got it in a good position. I think I'm gonna go for that. I think I'm gonna go for that position for lining it up. Okay. So put it here. And then take our little half piece. That bunny, this bunny right here. So I'm going to take my half piece, put it on the sticky side to protect him and the rest of them from sticking. And let's get our placement right. So he is like to the side of here. He's kind of nestled in between. Okay, and then, but I'm looking at this. Okay. So we have the top pink bunny here. I'll show you. We have the, go back. We have the top pink one, but then we have this one too. We gotta make sure that he does not overlap the frame. That's what I'm looking at right now. So see, there's a frame down here at the bottom. Can you see that? And here's our top bunny. So I'm thinking like, right. Here is good, and then you gotta kind of angle it so that one in the right space. Okay, I think I'm almost loyal. Okay, get ready to commit. When you're not decisive like me, this is the only reason why it takes so longer because it's, it's so stressful. Okay, let's commit. Committing. We commit by stick, sticking that piece of that bunny down so it doesn't move. Let's take a look at this other bunny, though. Is he in the right spot? Oh, look, he's in the perfect spot. He's in the perfect spot. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go ahead and remove the parchment. Smoothing it down as we go. Smoothing it down. Sorry, I get off the camera because I'm too busy. In my crafting zone. Smoothing. I cut off the little bit of his bottom there, but that's all right. Sometimes that happens. If it drives you nuts, just cut him out again. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of pull this tightly as we go around. You don't need to smooth it down, just pull it tightly. So that your other bunny gets to be in the right position. Okay. It's kind of wrinkling there. It's all right. So just kind of pull it high and get them down. Burnish them down. Maybe just go ahead and start here. We're taking it off since it's trying to lift. And got a little bit of a little bubble right there. Push, see if we can smooth that out. Oh, crease. Okay, pull that back. And then carefully pull back off of the rest of them. They're on there pretty good now at this point. Except for those pink bunnies trying to come off. Come on, pink bunny. Alright, so burnish the pink one. Burnish, burnish, burnish. Burnish. Pull back, sharp angle, away from the vinyl. Okay, same thing here. Oh yeah, beautiful. Pink bunnies. Now, blue bunnies. You guys are like such pros with this now, such pros. Transfer pepper down. 
Blue Bunny's down. Okay, tackle your vinyl. On to the, uh, the transfer sheet onto the Blue Bunny. Burnish them on. Flip it over. Take the backing off. Leaving Blue Bunny. Put it to the side. Bring our towel back for to help us to keep it from sliding around. Now, find a reference point for Blue Bunny. So Blue Bunny, we got one down here at the bottom. We got one up here at the top. I'm thinking maybe up here at the top might be the best, best place to try to align that. So let's keep an eye on that one. Okay. Take your half piece of parchment paper. Put that halfway through that bunny we're going to try to align. Okay. Position it. You can see, we can see the frame, the heart, the bunny. I want it to be kind of right. Mm, not overlapping that yellow one. Okay. It's kind of like right there. And th look, look at this bunny. It's supposed to be right there. He's come, it should be like a little bit more over. Okay, so I think we had to rotate a little bit more. And then let's check the position of that bunny. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and commit it. Committing! I'm gonna commit that here. Gonna place a reference. Let's lay our other blue bunny down. I'm gonna burnish him on. Burnishing. Okay. Pull back your parchment. tightly not burnishing just pulling it tightly like I said before so we can get this bunny into position and he looks sorry the wrap is underneath him make sure that overlap is not there and burnish that bunny on beautiful look at that bunny oh my goodness this is getting so cute Almost done. Almost done. Okay. Pulling back at that sharp angle. I'm too excited. Work out some of those bubbles if you can. Okay. And we can always touch up things as we get everything. We're just getting everything onto the cup now. Okay. Let's get it all on there. Be careful going over your already um, placed artwork. And then we'll come out, we're revealing that blue bunny here. Okay. Beautiful. So hopefully seeing me do this over and over and over again is giving you confidence in this process, okay? Beautiful. Oh, everything's coming together. Yes. Keep going. Let's see what else. I think. Do we, oh, we got green bunnies left. Green bunnies. All right. Parchment paper. Vinyl. It's just not laying down. <laughs> All right. Transfer tape. That's on there kind of crazy, but that's all right. I'm getting excited. Burnish this green ones. We're gonna flip it over. Revealing the vinyl. Perfect. So you notice we have used the same piece of transfer tape over and over again. And actually it gets easier and easier to use every single time we use it because it's not as sticky. Okay, we're gonna place our cup. 
Let's go back and see where our green is supposed to be. Okay, look, there's one nestled right there. Let's see if we can put him right in the middle of all his buddies. Come on, buddies. Okay. So we're going to put that uh, parchment paper right in the middle of this bunny that we're going to try to place. And the rest of it's just going to be protected by the parchment paper. He goes right about here. But let me check my... This little tail is like his little ear to pointing to both of his yellow and pink buddy, buddy. But we don't want to be too far low over that orange heart. So he's kind of like this. So just kind of loosely check that. And make sure we're in position for our other one. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty good. Yes. Let's go for it. I'm committing. Are you committing? <laughs> okay. We're going to turn that on. We're going to kind of smooth that on. And then we're going to kind of pull that tightly, wrapping it around till the bunny falls where he's supposed to go on the other side. Burnishing him on. Nice. Look at that. So now, keep pulling that back tautly and being careful of our other placed elements. It looks good. See, he was a little bit low there, but that's all right. I mean, all things considered, our placement is like money right now. Money, money, money. I am, oh, see, look. He's not, everybody else is laying down, but our green ones are new. They're newbies. They are not stuck yet. Okay. All right, look at that. Yes, all right, and then carefully remove the rest of the masking tape. Look at that, we got all of our bunnies. These are all of our bunny bodies. We're almost done. One last step. Now, this one's tricky, and we'll see how it goes, because it can go either way. Very similar to the other ones, we will use our transfer tape. This is for the black eyes. And these, remember how I told you the black eyes are really, like, teeny, tiny, and small. You can kind of see them right there. Instead of peeling this back and trying to keep these eyes on here, we are going to reverse weed. So we're going to... It's going to keep popping up. I'm going to use a little uh, masking tape to get this to lay down. Okay. Lay down. I might not need that quite yet. I'm just going to make it lay down to the table so I can get my vinyl placed on it correctly. Take that same vinyl, okay, and we're gonna use our, still use our taco method. Kind of put you got it right here. Oh, we'll make sure it covers the whole thing, top and bottom. Okay, it's kind of if we get any creases, it's okay. It's okay as long as it reaches to the edge of your artwork. Okay, so try to get that a little bit better centered than I did, but it is covering all the eyes, so we're good. So then just really burnish it on here. Good. Okay. Everywhere. Because it's kind of hard to see where the eyes are, so just really get them on there we do not want to lose any eyes these little dots are teeny tiny and small there's no way we want to weed around that so we are going to reverse weed so at this point i'm going to lift it off your table 
and we are going to pull back not only the backing but also the full sheet of vinyl okay and hopefully we will be left with just the eyeball so we'll see when we get to some haven't gotten to any yet The eyeball should be the, and we can do the same thing, pulling back sharply. The eyeball should be the only thing left. See, there we go. There goes three. Okay. I don't know if you can see them, but they're there. One, or two of these stuck in there. I'm going to roll it back. Burnish some more. So just move slow with this process. Burnish it really good. Pull it back again. And if it doesn't come off, that's when I will use my pick. And I will push him, because he just looks like he's not like cut well. So we just want to push it off of the vinyl and get it down onto the transfer tape. So keep going. Go slow, pull back, go slow, pull back. Here's go some more, friends. Here's some more peep faces. Go back, go back. Look at those little guys. Keep going. So just we're just gotta pull back at a sharp angle till we get to the next ones. Okay, keep going. There's one. See? Go slow once you see it. Yep, it's because he lifted. He lifted up. I saw it. He lifted up. Okay. Keeping that down with the pick. If you try to hold it with your finger, it will stick to your finger. So try not to use your finger. Try to use your pick. And it's sticking to the pick. Of course. Of course you stuck to the pick. Try to get it back down. There we go. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. And then we got another one here. Okay. And I think the reason why they were lifting is because they weren't cut all the way through. I got another, um, I got another, uh, face right there that's not. Looking off. Where's my scissors? Let's go ahead and there's one little face that's still here, but I don't want to lay it all the way down. So I'm going to just kind of cut what I've already done away so we don't have to worry about that. And there's a little face that's still there on the edge. So I'm going to burnish that really really good hopefully you can see what i'm doing and make sure that that gets stuck like it wants to but keeps lifting so i'm just pulling it back sharp angle pulling it away from the vinyl it just looks like it's not cut all the way and just staying connected to the sheet almost done last eye. and plus I'm on the edge of the <laughs> contact paper come on eye I see you okay you don't want to come off I'm just going to force it off can't see what I'm doing. Of course, because I'm all like extra detailed. Bam. Get on there. Okay. He's on. Okay, so I got all my faces. Okay, so here's the deal, guys. These little faces, no way <laughs> are they gonna be perfectly matched up on here, okay? It's just not going to happen because I'm sure our placement is not perfect. Okay. So what I do is I just cut out each little face and put it on 
individually, okay? And I'll show you how I do that. That's why I saved this one to the last, because at this point, I'm going to destroy my, my um, transfer sheet. So some of these have faces. Some of them don't. So I'm just looking at my reference to see that this yellow bunny has a face. I will cut one of these faces. It doesn't matter which one because they all, all the faces are the same. And I'm not, I don't even think I need a transfer sheet. I can go straight on here. So check out bunny face. Um, it's smack dab in the middle of the round part of his face. So I'm just going to take this, take the face, put it in the middle. Okay. And then burnish it on. Do it like that. The soft edge too. And sharp peel back. Bam. One face. Okay. Keep going. We have more faces. So this one's like right on the corner. Let's go ahead and use that before we lose it. We'll cut that one out. Okay. okay, so the next face we have, oops, is a green face. So see his green, green face right there? So I'm just using my canvas as a, as a reference, and then we're going to put his face right there in the middle. Soup's cute. Burnishing it on. Peeling back at the sharp angle. Bam. Look at that. Okay, let's keep going. We're about to round out this project. Okay, we got another one. This um, blue bunny has uh, a face, so we're going to give him his face. So pretty much all the bunnies that don't have tails, obviously, <laughs> give faces. That's kind of the pattern I'm picking up. Are you picking that up? Uh oh, so I'm not really happy with, oh, well, it's down. <laughs> Once it's on there, it's on there. His face is kind of over to the side, but that's all right. And I got, I do have this funky little bubble right here. Let me make sure. Why there's a bubble. Okay, so I just lifted that little edge up and see if I can, yeah, I just lifted it up and laid it back down again to get rid of that bubble. Perfect. Moving on, let's do another face. Just cutting it, his face out. Another bunny with a face, yellow. So get him face-centered, commit, burnish. Peel back sharply. Beautiful. Okay. Then let's keep going. A couple of funny faces right here. Trying not to get them stuck to anything else. Okay. And Next bunny face, we got a yellow one over here. So I got two of them on this one. Just be careful, make sure that the top one doesn't get stuck as you're laying this one down. So you do multiple at a time. Okay, so that's beautiful. So we're gonna pull that back sharply. Here's another bunny face. Oh, he got a tail, he's got a tail. Okay, that's supposed to come out. We'll go back and take that out. Um, here's a face. I got a little reflection that's kind of thrown off my vision. Toot. Told you I'm a perfectionist to a fault. Okay, here we go. Burnish that, peel it back. Beautiful. Got two more. 
these two more. And we can keep this piece. We'll keep that transfer sheet. And what I'll do is when I'm keeping them, I'll just take one of these old um, backings to the colored vinyl and just save it. Like, just put it on there to save it for later for something else. Well, we can save it on there. Save that. All right. Here's some more faces. Really sticky, so it's kind of hard to cut. Okay. Okay. So blue face right there. And then a green face. Beautiful. Bam. Oh, and remember, we have a little bunny tail that's not supposed to be there. Take him off. We'll see if we can get underneath there and lift that off. Careful not to scratch your vinyl or the cup. That's pretty good. Okay. Look at it. It's done. We finished. It's adorable. I love it. So our placement could have been a little bit better right there, but you know, it is handmade, you guys. So don't be too critical on yourself. But I'm pretty proud of this. And the process is pretty much the same for all your wraps. You can also do this with layered things. See how we layered this on top of here? So you can layer like, um, you know, little details and uh, you could do like a shadow layer and then put a, a, a darker shadow layer and a lighter peep. And it gives it that 3D effect. Um, this is really, really, really cool. I love all the different colors. I think we have like eight different colors on here. So this is more of a um, kind of like, you know, intensive project. <laughs> you could have did them all yellow or you could have them all pink, you know, to make it one easier so you don't have to do all the layering. Um, so don't be afraid of projects like this. You know, take your time with it. Um, Oops, I never do anything you don't want to do, undo. All right. So you can see the whole artwork. You can see how it wraps around. Beautiful. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you really learned a ton from that. You can use all these skills for future projects. Um, this was the one that we did. We I kind of changed up some of the colors. So you can see how we did a pink ears versus the white ears. We have a hot pink versus a... Um, a pastel pink um, so you can totally kind of like change things use the color vinyls that you have in stock etc etc so um, I will be adding more <clears throat> tutorials online I'm gonna try to develop an, an online version of this class too um, but we do meet in Eastvale at the Community Center Wednesdays from 6 to 7 30 p.m. we work hands-on with the uh, the materials and the software in class so it's really really fun uh, please let me know if you have any questions or suggestions uh, in the comments. That'd be great. Uh, and my website is www.tiresessentials.com if you'd like to uh, make any uh, orders for something like that. We, I do favors and things like that, so I can do custom um, orders as well. Uh, like and subscribe if you are watching on YouTube. Uh, subscribing will allow you to uh, get notifications if you we uh, do any more videos as soon as they are posted you can hit the notification bell and that way you're all, you'll always see when we're posting new content thanks again for watching create with cricket by janae tires uh good luck and have fun uh, definitely share with me any projects that you do i would love to see how they turned out thank you have a great day